Hello everyone and thank you very much first of all for joining me in this tutorial. So in this lecture we are going to talk about this amazing real-time voice translator application which has been built on Python. Okay, so this is the Python code which we're seeing over here and that's what has been used for creating this amazing desktop real-time voice translator application. Now how it works, let's first see that and after that I'm going to tell you the things which have been used in the backend and don't worry about the code it will be shared in the comment section below right so there is a button uh, that says start translation but before I do that I need to set up the input and output language so I will set it as English right and this output language I would like to have Chinese over here Okay, let's start translating English to Chinese. So let's see how this application will help us in doing it. Hello everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, the things which I had spoken it's coming right on the top over here. Let me just close this application quickly. So you can see me. So the things which I spoken, you know, they are coming on the top, and the translated text is coming over here. Besides that, we are also able to hear the things. We are able to hear the uh, translated text in the form of a speech in real time. Okay, so now we are going to talk about the coding section. So I'm going to put this window over here, right? And here is the code. So I'm going to simultaneously you know, explain you how this code has helped us in creating this beautiful window over here. Let me close this. Okay, now it is perfectly fine. So here, uh, these are the libraries, uh, you know, which uh, have been used for creating the backend of this application. So we are using tkinter, which is a Python library used for creating desktop application. There is GTTS, Google Transform to Text. Then we have this GTTS, uh, Google Text to Speech Translation. Uh, then we have this speech recognition in place. We have play sound for playing the voice, uh, you know, the MP3 that will get created when the user will speak something. We are using deep translator, okay, and we are using transliteration also. Okay, now with the help of uh, this, we have created a window, okay, TK is for TK inter. So this is how you can create a window, and then we have created uh, we have defined a size for our window so when you open the application you will not see it as big as you are seeing right now it will be of this size but you can make it large like this okay there is maximize button there is minimize button there is cross button also on the top and then we have this uh, recognize text how it is coming here so we have defined this tk dot label so this is a class with the help of which you can create a text kind of a thing and then when you do a pack so what what happens is it gets packed this text gets packed with this windows instance okay and you start seeing it on the peak inter application same thing we have done for the text area also so for the text area we have used this function called text to which we have passed this window instance and we have uh, defined the height and width also of this text area. And then we have finally packed it with the window. Okay, so that is how we have created this recognized text and this text area. Now, same thing we have done for this part also. So we have this output label. So here we can see, we'll see the output text. Okay, so if we are doing English to Chinese, so the Chinese text gets visible to us over here, right? You have seen it in the beginning. Then we have created a space in between. So this space is coming from here. 
So whatever you are creating, just pack it with the Windows instance. That's it. We have a dictionary in place where we have some key value pairs of all the types of languages that we want to see in these drop downs over here. Okay. We have created a list out of this uh, dictionary. Okay, we are, we are calling the keys. So this is key value pair. We are calling the keys of this dictionary and we are listing down uh, everything in this list over here. Right. And then we have again this text select input language. We have this combo box in place. So this drop down here is coming from this combo box. Again, we have passed this Windows instance as a parameter and the language names which contain the names of all the languages as a parameter to this combo box. Okay, we have a function named update input language code which we will be calling when the event, when this event will take place. Now when will this event take place? Whenever the user will select any language. Okay, if we select so Spanish so this is Spanish will this event will take place, an event has taken place which will help us in executing, which will help the interpreter in executing this update input language code. Now what will happen when the interpreter will execute this uh, you know function? The language which the user has selected, it will get set for this particular drop down. Okay, and same thing will happen for this output language also. See. Right, so we have defined a separate function for setting up the language for this output drop down also. Fine, it's the same code we have used for both these uh, drop downs, both these combo boxes. Then we have something called start translation. So what is going to happen when the user will click this start translation button? Let me show that to you. So for that, I need to come on start translation. So this is the button library that we have used for creating a button kind of a thing. Now when the user will click it, what will happen? Run translation, run translator. So there is a function called run translator that will get executed by the interpreter when the user will click this start translation. Now what will this run translation, run translator do for us? So it will create a threading mechanism okay and then that thread will execute this update transition translation sorry right now what is this update translation so we have a function here which will tell the user to speak okay let me just show it to you once okay let's do it afterwards because that will create an issue then okay so we'll see this speak now thing over here right the moment user click that start translation button and then recognize google the google library will start recognizing the audio if it is not in english it will try to recognize the audio based on the language the user has selected okay and then speech text transliteration will take place right whatever the user will speak it will get converted into text okay and finally we will store the text into this translated text named variable okay and then what we will do we will take the output language we will convert this translated text into that output language and we will store it in the form of an mp3 file which will get played live so that the user will be able to hear it live after the conversion has taken place okay and then finally what we'll do we'll convert the translated speech into text okay and we'll insert it into the output text area so that's what this function will be doing fine i hope you guys have understood it if suppose now the user want to kill the execution he just have to click the kill execution button you know this button and the user will be able to stop the application from translating things okay so this is how the application has been created that's what we have used for 
creating this application for making it work so that it can help us in translating different types of languages in real time in different types of languages okay i hope you guys have understood it let me just show you the function of this application again so i'm going to first stop it for us let's just stop it from here close the terminal here i'm going to delete this voice mp3 file let's come on view let's come on terminal and here we're going to run this application okay let's run it so the application is live right now there is no voice.mp3 file as of now right so we are going to select a language here if you have not selected any language in the input language drop down it will take for english only okay hi we are working on a real time voice translator application ¿Por qué estamos trabajando en una aplicación de traducción de voz en tiempo real? Okay, so as you can see this mp3 file has got created and when we were hearing the voice in the back end the code was also converting the voice into text which we can see over here. So that's how this application works. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. In case you find any issues you can let me know in the comment section below. the code will be shared in the form of a link in the comment section so you can take it from there and you can also set up this beautiful translator on your respective device that's it from my side in the lecture bye bye take care and have a great great day guys